Hello viewers, great to have you back in video 2 of 4 video series on basic 7 quality tools. Hope you liked the first video. In case you have missed it, I recommend you to watch that, link is in the description. In video 1, we spoke of introduction and advantages of basic 7 quality tools with first tool, check sheet. In this video 2, we will move ahead with next 3 tools which are Pareto chart, histogram and scatter diagram. They are graphical tools. Our approach will remain the same for each tool and we will discuss what, when and how with example. So let's move in. We will start with our second tool, Pareto chart. Talking of its origin, Pareto chart was first conceptualized by Italian economist Wilfredo Pareto, after whom the name goes. During his studies, he found that 80% of wealth was owned by 20% of population and there came the concept, 80-20 rule. Later, quality guru Joseph Juran adopted it to find and prioritize quality problems or their causes. As per him, most of the effects are outcome of few causes and if prioritized, it can help with improving organization. So, what is Pareto chart? It is actually a bar line combination chart that shows relative importance of variables, prioritizing in descending order. Pareto chart is used to measure effectiveness of quality improvement being performed via before after graph. Next question comes, how to create Pareto chart? Base requirement is to have defect data classified and mapped in different categories for comparative assessment. Taking an example, an organization complaint for 2018-19 were classified in 5 categories. A total of 41 complaints distributed in 5 categories. First action should be to arrange them in descending order. Then perform a cumulative addition of defect categories like this. Then conduct a contribution assessment on cumulative addition. You will start to see that few troubles or few categories are contributing to majority of complaints. Finally, you create a bar line chart. Count of defect as bar and percentage contribution as line. Result is that 90% of defects are due to two categories. Quality manager responsible for reducing complaint now know where to push to get maximum benefits. He worked upon them and at end of next year, better visuals of situation appear. Complaints reduced by 75% from 41 to 11. Still Pareto chart continued to provide information for next improvements. You must be thinking data in shown example was pretty much obvious even before applying tool. My intent was to make concept clear, otherwise generally such categories are not limited to 5 but goes to 20s or even 50s. But on application of tool, it gets equally easy at end. Let's take another example, something we can all relate to in 2020. A total of 2148 cases of a spreading disease reported across country. Government needs to identify priority areas for action. They pulled state-wise patient count data. Pareto chart was applied to solve confusion. So states were arranged in descending order of patient count. Cumulative addition was performed and then cumulative contribution was assessed. Pareto is created and it was identified that 70% of patients comes from top 5 affected states. Government got their priority and states were informed who would again do the same assessment within their states. Giving example of state F and state I here who did similar assessment of their state region wise. Tool helped them identifying their priority region as well. This is how useful Pareto chart can be. Moving to our next tool, tool 3, histogram. Speaking of its origin, it was first described by English mathematician and biostatistician Carl Pearson. Coming to what is histogram, this is a bar chart which provides the easiest way to evaluate the distribution of data and variation within process. Histogram can be applied to investigate and identify the underlying distribution of a variable being studied. Histogram also provides valuable information such as range of variation, mean, minimum and maximum of database. So how the histogram is created? First is to collect data for any variable under study. Create a bin or fixed frequency or an interval for data distribution. Finally form a bar chart with collected data over bin range. Let's take an example. For 200 products written from field after failure, manager pulls their live data in hours. 
he was provided with this data. He wants to simplify it to make it meaningful information. He know that agreed warranty life is 50,000 hours. It helped him to create bin or interval to study this data distribution. He created a bin of 5,000 hours and mapped data of 200 products on it. Histogram was created. Histogram gave him information that 55% of products couldn't meet expected life. He decided to work on product improvement. Taking another example of a new product developed for first time at outer diameter machining shop having a specification of 12 plus minus 2 mm that is 10 to 14 mm. Shop manager wants to confirm whether his equipment for outer diameter machining is in control. He asked his supervisor to pull 100 parts data. He was provided with data which he decided to plot on histogram. He decided bin of 1 mm and formed histogram. He see that there is huge rejection percentage and distribution is not focused on mean. He as a data driven manager decided for improvement and performed similar study to confirm his improvement. Data now are more promising and signaling processes in control. Manager then give a green signal. So based upon how histogram looks, they are given various names and each one indicate process behavior. Firstly, normal shape bell curve. It indicates process is running normally close to mean. Next is cliff shaped histogram. It ends sharply and abruptly at one end. It indicates that inspection or sorting is required for non-confirming parts identification associated to high rejection process. Next is skewed histogram. This is alternative of normal curve shifted to either side of mean creating a taper in curve. Next is bimodal histogram. It has two peaks and indicates that a mixed data of more than two processes or two different time frame of one process is taken for plotting. Final one is sawtoothed shape histogram. It has alternating jagged pattern. It indicates that either there is a measurement error or data have come from multiple sources. That is all for histogram. Our final tool for this video is tool 4 scatter diagram. Its origin is again in United Kingdom with famous mathematician and astronomer John Heschel. What is a scatter diagram? It is two dimensional plot to detect, to analyze relationship between independent and its dependent variable. This is how scatter plot looks like. Now relationship nature is identified by shape of graph. If data points are close to each other, relationship is strong and if they are scattered away, it is weak. If it is going up, relationship is positive and when going down, relationship is negative. So shape show degree and direction of relation. A correlation can be revealed based on a scatter diagram between variables under study. Understanding with an example, an organization decides to check for any relation if there is between employees age and salary. Data was mapped for these two variables for 40 employees of that organization. A scatter diagram between age as dependent variable and income as independent variable was plotted. It show that there is weak relation although in positive direction. Before concluding, management gave a final try to map same data using an additional factor management level. Data was again pulled and a scatter diagram was again drafted. This time there were some special findings when looked separately for data point as per management level, a stronger positive relation was identified between variables under study. Look out for blue dots only or green dots only. Management got what they are looking for. Next, scatter diagram are also used for comparative analysis of multiple dependent variables. Like example, a survey was performed on hundreds of individuals to study or know their well-being in aspect of health, wealth and life expectancy. These hundreds of individuals have to rate from 0 to 10 as low to high against each aspect for their life's age. Taking average of all data points, this scatter plot was created. This chart shows an average man's or women's life in term of their well-being in aspect of health, wealth and life expectancy. Hope you can relate to this. Another work scatter diagram can do is help in decision making. 
by comparing various similar items on parameters of one's likeliness. Taking an example of individual who wants to select a car with best fuel economy. He is confused among four cars and decides to plot a scatter diagram. He took data of all four cars for, for their fuel economy across speed range he wants to operate. This is the output of his study and easy pickings now. With this, our second video comes to end and I hope you enjoyed learning these graphical tools today. If yes, please like the video and share it with your friends, peers and team. Give your feedback in comment section and subscribe to my channel for getting more such content. See you again in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep growing.